in my IS3 we begin on the north side of this map. This map is actually not that bad, I think. It's not the best map, but certainly not the worst. Because this is a long game, I'm just gonna you know, speed things up a bit. And um, all of my videos this time probably gonna show you some noobs and how you should play, not like a noob, hopefully. Okay, get a shot into that VK three zero zero two D. The matchup is not it's not bad, but it's oh it's not good because I'm in a tier eight heavy against tier nines. Uh, I mean I can do something certainly, and I'm, uh, don't want to get shot when I'm driving around. Never want to penetrate a T thirty four even if I could see him. Not his turret. And this is your Panther and a VK, so uh, T54, he's a, he's an alright player. So I decided, okay mate, uh, me and you go together, let's wrap up the Panther. Like, okay, shot out. Low damage, bro, to not have killed him. That was unlucky, that could be my first kill of the game, but I don't get it. Which is horribly, which is horrible. I actually wanted the kill. And we secured this. Be careful that, you know, sometimes when you're sliding down, it's really hard to hit the target. Although you're actually aiming at it, you need to actually make your tank stop and not make it wobble in midair. I'm trying to climb up here. I'm amazed by how many people that don't know you can climb up here. You know, it's, it's pretty simple how you climb up this place. And the T-54 wasn't that bright, you know, running into that place with uh, all that tanks down there, so poor play by him, but we spot this T-50, T-43, uh, he, he is gonna die, he, I mean, there's nothing really he can do, except out trying to outflank me, but he's actually not that good of a player, and I take his ammo rack out. Which is actually between the wheels of uh, little wheels, so that was good. Okay, T thirty four. Okay, first shot drilled into him. The game is still fairly balanced, I would say. That was not good. Didn't actually get the shot on. And suddenly GW Tiger smacks me in the back. But I was able to secure the kill and let's move it, move on, move on. Uh, possibly the. Because the love and all that died so early on, that could have costed the game. And, um, well, we still have a good platoon. Um, quite a decent platoon, actually. I try to come here and see if I can spot anyone. And as a result I can. ISU 152. Knock him out. He is absolutely beast tank, so the the earlier we knock him out the the better. And you don't wanna stay there too long, you know, people will be aiming at you. And I saw okay, all of that all that tanks on the right will be able to take care of those two tanks, wouldn't they? And poor play by me. I'm I'm matches stuck here between the rocks. Really bad play. Should not have been this. But shouldn't have been like this, you know. If I didn't get hit by that tank that that time, possibly the game could have ended differently. But I was lucky that he missed that shot. And I'm on five kills, so I thought, come on, mate, let let's win this. Speed things up a bit. I tried to, um, well, go kill the T54 though, because E50M might not be able to take out the T54. I tried to do something, and okay, so how did that happen? G2 Tiger took out our E50, and our E50 took out their T54, so it's fair trade. And suddenly, I wanted to go around here to get shot at the um, 
artillery or something like that. But what I'm gonna run into is some serious trouble. I, I wanted my six kill, so I I I run here, but then I realized maybe it's not a bad idea, and then I suddenly got spotted. I I tried to run away, but Yak Tiger takes me out sadly, and uh. This T thirty four is absolutely new. Okay, two two versus three. They should have this. Should, they should have got this game in a bag. T thirty four decides to go that way, but I told him to go base, and artillery defending himself, and T thirty four on full health. We should we should still be able to win this now. Okay, he tracks us off, and uh, well, what can you say? T-34 is absolute noob, noob, literally noob. Artillery finishes him off, and now it's a fair game again, and we should have this in a bag, I mean in a bag, right now. And watch how retarded the T-34 can be. Alright, just, just have a look at the retardedness, alright. You know the Yak Tiger is there, alright, guess what he does, he drives right at it, alright. If you drive right at it, you should bring then, isn't it? Like, <laughs> artillery is definitely behind above, so might not be able to rain down on him. He spots the, the Yak Tiger. How in the world can you not have killed the Yak, the yak Tiger in this situation? Right, he backs off. Back off in the cover then. And he, oh god. Shameful, shameful player. What a shameful player. You can keep him spotted, and if you can't take him out, keep him spotted. You you do not come out like that. Just, just retarded noobs, you know, get themselves a premium tank. They think, oh god, I got tier 8. I'm such a good player now. No, it doesn't work like that. I'm flipping stupid retarded player. Look at the mistake he's doing. Why would you pop out like this? Side scrape or something. You should use that bloody brain of yours. Oh, flipping hell! And then artillery has to die now. There is no other way. He is some retarded shit. I probably won't play artillery at high level, you know, because of the poor traverse of the gun. It's absolutely shocking. And probably my death actually led to the defeat of this game. Um, but without me and my team wouldn't even have got anywhere near as close as having a close game like this. And the oh, flipping t shirt of all, you retard. You retard of a player. You do not play like that. It is an absolute stupidity to play in such a way. GW Tiger. I'll go and nukes the tiger, a GW Tiger. Which is good play. He retrieves back off. He should have stayed in those buildings. But, um. He's still trying to predict which way the Yak Tiger would go. I don't think the Yak Tiger would have come that way because, first of all, he, he, he still haven't arrived. So, definitely the Yak Tiger was that gonna come from there. So, I certainly doubt the way he should play this. And, uh, well. He completely missed that shot, and uh, Yak Tiger is gonna give him no more mercy, and it's gonna kill him. So what a sad game, isn't it? Retarded players like those. Okay, let's begin this one. As you see, we have a 54% win, and uh, I'm top tier, but most people are tier six as well. I really feel sad about those headsets and the SAU 40s that have joined the game and the M3 Lees. I really feel um, quite. I feel sad for them, you know. Tanks like the M3 Lee get one shotted by me any day, so any time of the week. Any days of the week. And, uh. What can I say? Let's, let's skip. Okay, I'll skip too far. Going back on. 
and uh, this game hopefully shows you that sometimes you shouldn't rely on your teammate too much. T said before the beginning of the game, he thinks he's all that smart. No, nah, mate. 450 help, not a lot. I can one shot you. <laughs> oh god. Okay, if I fired HE, probably that could have killed him, but um, damage is 440, so just above the average damage to wipe out the T34. Can't spot that guy, I decided to aim further for him, but still no positive shots. As you see, he's behind some sort of cover, so. What I should be doing is that I should be uh, staying in the same place, possibly. Our VK doing not a good job. He actually went too far out. And look at the brutality we put into him, into that tank, the KV-1S, the be one of the best tanks they have. I just went douche, and my platoon mate did douche, and as well, and we actually, um actually nailed him in two shots in consecutively and KV1 has that, that, that bastard got the kill just in front of me which uh, he secured and okay KV1 has got brutalized we know there's people camping there analyzing the situation is very important I try to run, run the wall over so when if we do spot anyone I can get shots into them and I'm telling Wars on you to survive. I was like, how are you on 67 health right now? I was like, let me give you some help. Okay, firing at him. Wiped him out. KV1S. He wiped it out. And was like, oh, let's go for the brothers in arm. Uh, because um, the previous game we played, in our T1 Cunningham, we totally killed the, the, the tier 1s. I got like, worthy 5 kills or something. He got like, Two kills and we just missed uh, Brothers now, or something like that. We we just missed it by a little bit, by one kill I think from him. Uh, I know I can't hit the Churchill gun carrier, so I decided to move to the left. But he's not spotted now. Uh, what's on you move down there? I think I was telling him on Skype maybe that's not a good idea because he's giving up his. Uh, advantage, which is which is the altitude advantage, um, position superior positioning really affects how you play. And um, I saw okay, this game is in a bag, and um, I'm on full health, so let's do a yolo wrong. Uh, but that's probably one of the biggest mistakes I do. And uh, let's just show you how what happened. I was like, come on, let's go, run, 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 run. Uh oh, oh crap, got spotted. Crap. Let's run, 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 run back. And look at the damage I've been doing, getting shot at. And Sue 100, I try to shake him off my shot, but he kills me. But right away, T150 finished him off. If he shot him a bit earlier, I could have survived. And um, platoon mate, uh, I was like, secure the kill, yeah. Otherwise, we could have, we can, we might lose this. You know, secure this bloody kill. And uh, T150 just lasted a bit longer than we expected him to, and that gave uh, my platoon mate the chance to finish him off. And he does make guarantees the shot goes in, and uh, show you some retarded people, you know. Uh, the M, this M M5, I just try to kill him. He's on one health, and M5 just can't kill him. And uh, Su 100, why? Um, I was saying, why don't he just aim pop good, isn't it? Instead of being retarded and shooting crap. I was like, shoot properly. Oh, God. And this 88, just noob. How newbie is this? How newbie is this player? Everyone in the chat was like, you bastard. How shit can you get? And look at the crap players. Hellcat, 46%. He is some crap player. Crap players platoon with crap players. Simple as that. Y you don't move to that side of the rock because the artillery can actually hit him. And I'm like, God help, man. No, if the bloody PZ is actually shooting him from the top, you bloody move and kill him then. 
Look at them two idiots fighting each other. 88, does he not got a brain? Stupid piece of shit. What is he achieving by doing this? Oh god, I can't believe he's actually got clan. He's actually got clan, you know. What the hell is the 88 doing? What is he doing? Why are you standing still? Now I just totally gave up, you know, and I was like, now nah, we lost this game. I was like, Hellcat, do something, man. And guess what happened? Hellcat is AFK. How amazing is that? Oh, finally you decided to move, you bloody shit player. Gills, 18. How crap is his name? How crap is he? Oh, God. Amazing. Amazing players, you know. Amazing players in this category. Noobs. <laughs> Absolute noobs. How crap can you get? Don't stay in the open, and the artillery is crap as well. He wouldn't actually rain down on him. If the artillery actually aimed properly, and I could have killed the M5A1. But I don't know why it's artillery not raining down on him. Oh god. Two noobs versus each other. And then suddenly the noob finds the Hellcat. Why the hell, 88? You have to really start reversing now. What's the point of reversing? Drive forward. You retard as shit. Just one shot and we you can win this. I actually think the Panda 3... Panda, Panda 38 and A is actually a better player than the 88. I should actually report this to Wargaming, you know, the shitness. <laughs> Wargaming should not allow players like this to play, I don't think. <laughs> Just how crap can they get? They troll their, their, their teammate. Does he not know you can destroy buildings? At tier 6. How many games have you played? 5,000 games, oh god. 5,000 games, still don't know how to, how to play this game. He must be some crap player. Like you can't shoot the building, you know? and he doesn't listen to the chat. Oh god, pre aim then, you bloody shit. Pre aim, the, the, the steward is a bit retarded as well. We're like, shoot the house, you motherfucker. Shoot the house. Oh, and he gets a random slap shot on him. Lucky crap. And we're like, oh, finally, you can win this. Come on, you can win this. Oh, finally, we won it. What a good player, you know. Good 